Good morning and welcome to our Advent Day 22. Can't believe a couple of days it's going to be Christmas. Um, I'm sorry if I feel I sound yucky this morning, but my head's all stuffied up. <laughs> I got a sinus headache this morning, so please bear with me. So as you saw in our title, our Advent story is about John and Jesus. And John points out who Jesus is as the Messiah. And our ornament today is a dove. And our scripture starts with John 1, 32-34. Then John gave this testimony. I saw the Spirit come down from heaven as a dove and remain on him. And I myself did not know him. But the one who sent me to baptize with water told me, The man on whom you see the Spirit come down and remain is the one who will baptize with Holy Spirit. I have seen and I testify that this is God's chosen one. So, I felt like a large amount of my childhood was spent at the county stadium, the previous ballparks of the Milwaukee Brewers. I have many memories there, including a vivid one from college. There were 10 of us in a group that day, including one who was dating the daughter of the Brewers coach. Because of this, our group was invited into the clubhouse program. What an experience. When it was time to leave, we were led by security out the player exit. Just outside the exit, hundreds of Brewer fans were waiting for a player autograph. So none of us walked out and ignored the rest of the children. One of our group, however, didn't ignore the kids. Instead, he began signing autographs. Did these fans know who the player really was? The fans really needed someone to reveal the true identity of this player. His autograph did little to raise the value of their memorabilia. In fact, it might have reduced it. But what is your value? By nature, we are more worthless than a counterfeit autograph. Psalms 51.5 gives us a clear picture of a value. Surely I was sinful at birth, sinful from the time my mother conceived me. Our perfection was scarred even before we took a breath outside of our mother's womb. In God's economy, we need perfection to enter heaven. Unfortunately, we had the fake autograph of sin written all over our heart. Since we've been born, we've only continued our sinful ways. Our sinful nature yearns to find a solution on our own. It falsely tells us to try and make up for these sins and earn our value back. Yet none of this is possible on our own. Thankfully, God put his all-star into our lives. And he has two things we need. An eraser and an infinite value. God revealed him throughout the pages of Scripture, specifically through the voice of John the Baptist. John had, and still has, a specific purpose. John 1, 7 says, He came as a witness to testify concerning that light, so that through him all might believe. John baptized Jesus and saw the dove descend on him. He knew Jesus was God's chosen one. So he yelled out to the people then and people now to get their pens ready. Jesus is the real deal. The Savior so long foretold was coming has come. He is God's chosen one. His perfect light, innocent death, and glorious resurrection makes you new again. He takes your sin on himself and he gives you his perfection. You will be autographed as a redeemed child of God because of Jesus. That autograph has infinite value. So this Advent, and always, get your pens ready and your hearts ready. Look, the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. He's coming. Thank you, Lord, for giving us our broken lives, infinite value, <coughs> through the chosen one, Jesus. Help us to testify concerning that light to others this Advent season. 
just as John the Baptist did. Now, Lord, be with those who are hurting and sick and need your healing touch or your peace or your comfort. Shine your light upon others and help us to shine our light to testify to who you are, Lord. In Christ's name we pray. Amen. Thank you, my friends, for joining me this morning for our daily devotion. God bless you, and I love each and every one of you. Goodbye.